just as the First World War was drawing to a close, which had been the biggest war the world had seen up to that date, with around 8 million battlefield casualties and an equal number of civilian deaths, a particularly nasty strain of flu started to spread around the world. It killed so many people that the total numbers remain more or less a matter of guesswork, uh, between about 20 million and 100 million deaths around the world. Even the most conservative of those estimates would make that flu pandemic outbreak of 1918 deadlier than the First World War, and possibly even up to five times deadlier. 1918 was a flu pandemic, meaning an epidemic that spreads right across the planet, ignoring the usual seasonal winter rhythms. At the time, it was given the name Spanish flu, but it definitely didn't originate there. The reason for this misnomer was that Spain was a neutral country in the First World War, and therefore it had no reporting restrictions. However, the, the media of the combatant countries didn't report the disease for fear of damaging morale and affecting the war effort. The real origin of the outbreak is unknown, but the first fact that we have about the 1918 pandemic is that cases started to appear at Allied military bases in the USA and France. The neighbouring civilian population were infected and soon the disease was in most major cities of continental Europe and North America. British troops returning home across the Channel, especially after the war ended in November 1918, brought the disease back to the UK. And this was true for troops returning to many other parts of the world as well.